Now I'm going to explain our hardware for the project. In the middle of this box, you can see that there is two Arduino boards, one relay module, and several sensors connected to each other. The design is very simple. It's only a cube of plastic piping tubes with these uh, holes that we call wells. You, you simply place one plant like this in each well and in the middle you can see that it will be full of water. On the outside there is an LCD that will show the temperature and the humidity for the system 24 hours. Two plugs need to be connected to the AC power line. The first one is the for heater and the second one is for pumping air into the water to make it move all the time and prevent algae from building up inside of the water system. Here in the first well we have water level sensor that detects the water level and if it gets too low it sends an impulse for this pump. This pump is connected to a long tube that acts as a reservoir and there will be extra water inside. So if the water level gets too low, this level is detected by the water level sensor and it sends the impulse again for water pump to pump extra water to feed the plant. Also, we have an ultrasonic sensor at the top of this reservoir so if the level of the water in the reservoir get critically low, it send a message to the user to tell him to refill this reservoir. And we have this temperature sensor to measure the water temperature, LDR in the middle for the system to check whether it's day or night. And a motor driver so we can control the water pump and the DHT sensor which measures temperature and humidity for the environment. HydroSmart presents a smart hydroponic system in which we can plant plants into our hydroponic wells in a soilless environment or a semi-aquatic environment. Uh, basically, uh, we focus on automating and optimizing the plant growth, as you might have seen the description of the hardware by my friend, uh, Bara Hamada. Uh, he has shown that there is a heater responsible for controlling the temperature automatically of uh, the uh, watery environment uh, to uh, optimize and increase the rate of plant growth, as well as other hardware aspects that ensure that a plant will grow without any user intervention. We also focus on keeping track of the plants within the wells. So imagine we have 1000 different wells. Basically our hardware is a prototype of four wells only. However, if we have 1000 different wells, it is extremely important to keep track of the plants in a database. We have a system that's responsible to keep track of the plants and to let us know which wells are being used and which wells are empty so uh, we can know exactly uh, what we are planting and when we have planted each type of uh, plant of the same type or different types so now we have access to our system hydro smart control panel let us reset i click on reset okay we have this sound now I propose this is uh, my first time using the software so let's enter the password it's one two three four five Welcome back. Nice. Uh, this is my first time using the software, so I'll click on help. I'm here to help you. Do you want to add or remove a plant? Basically, I'm going to add my first plant into the hydroponic wells. Let us propose that I want to add a plant. So add. Nice. Click on add plant. OK. I want to add the plant into well number two, for example. So I choose two. OK. Please place your plant in front of the camera directly. So, this is my plant. It is let us scan it. Plant of species orange figs was detected. Okay, 
I've added the plan successfully into the database and email confirmation has been sent. So this is my first time planting. So I would like to share this into our Facebook page, Hydro Smart Community. The preferred name. Nice. Now, as you can see, I've been sent a couple of confirmation messages. Uh, a login confirmation. You have successfully logged into your hard, hard Hydro Smart Control Panel and the time. Okay. Also, because we have added a plant, I've been sent a confirmation message. As you can see, you have successfully added a plant of species orange figs and the time. I, I can check the database, for example. Let's just check the database. And here is it. As you can see, our database has been updated automatically with well two plant species orange figs added at this time and it's currently in use so this would be very helpful if we have a lot of uh, wells now learn more about orange fig plants by clicking on the following link so as you can see this is our website basically and i uh, can check all of the information about uh, the plants soil planting hydroponic and so on as you can see on the facebook page hydrosmart we have an automated uh, post that's published by the IFTTT. Uh, hey all, check what has Ijihad planted today in the hydroponic wells. Click on the link to know more about the orange figs. So we can like the post and yeah. So this is a, a mainly a community of HydroSmart customers in which they could publish their planting. So now let us let us quickly add another plant, for example. Let's add a plant quickly. Uh, I want to add to well two. Oh, we have added a plant well two before, so we have got an error message. Okay, so I want to plant in well one. And this error message would be very helpful if we have, again, a thousand wells. So we can know in which well we can plant. I will scan the plant now. Plant species of pink pops was added. Okay. No, I would not like to share. And yeah, we have added the plant. Okay, so now let us try the last scenario that we want to remove, for example, our orange fig plant from the hydroponic wells. So we will propose that I have removed and picked up the plant from the hydroponic wells, and now uh, uh, the user is obligated to scan the plant, so it will be removed from the database. So we will click on remove plant. Okay, the same procedure, drag the recognition window, and let us remove uh, the plant. Plant species orange fix was removed. So we have removed it successfully from the database and from the hydroponic wells. And as you can see now, uh, we have an email, uh, a confirmation email. We have successfully removed a plant species orange fix. Uh, we can check our updated database. And here is it. As you can see, orange figs was in well number two we have removed orange figs from well number two it's now empty and we have the pink pops which we have added previously uh, so uh, uh, currently we are having a full tracking system of uh, our planting uh, wells uh, the automatic emailing system and the automatic database update system was based on uh, uh, the ifttt extensions used as you can see here we have this first extension facebook uh, that was used for the automatic facebook posting uh, we have species uh, this iptt extension was uh, done to uh, update the uh, database using the google spreadsheet an online database would be extremely suitable so it could be accessed and updated quickly it could be accessed from the mobile it could be accessed from the laptop and so on uh, this iptt extension uh, is responsible to uh, send confirmation emails when the user logs in and out of the uh, system and finally we have uh, this plant scan uh, that sends a confirmation email when a plant is being scanned during removal or uh, addition.